What's up guys? Wanted to do a quick video. Yeah, I know it's in the computer chair. It's super ghetto video, but um, got my supplies in. Some of the supplies that I've had to order. Uh, no Kydex or anything. I have some rivets, but um, got my supplies in. A lot of people have been asking about handle material options. So I just wanted to show this is some of the stuff that I've been ordering. So I mean, a couple slabs of blue G10, blue black G10, a couple slabs of blue G10. Um, enough to make one jade knife. Um, I bought this for my knife, uh, my nice one. I don't know if I'll use it on mine or not, but a lot of people don't know how expensive handle material is. Uh, this little bit right here was 50 bucks, and that's not including shipping. 50 bucks for a pair of scales. So when I'm telling people the price range that the knives can be, I mean, depending on what you want, the same knife could be $50 more or less than uh, the same knife with a different handle on it. So handle material makes a huge difference in what the final cost will be. So I ordered this handle material, G10 and carbon fiber, and I also ordered uh, some big blocks of Kyranite. Doesn't look too pretty as it is, but when you start sanding on it and get into the different layers, it actually looks really, really sweet. Um, and these were a couple new... Radley, that's a bad boy. That is not a good boy at all. Um, these are a couple different ones. These two, these were on USA Knife Maker and I had not seen these before. So I wanted to get them and use them. And I'll show you guys what this stuff looks like on handles, but it does not look like this. I can tell you that. Um, and what's cool about it is depending on which side you want to finish, you have two different options as far as the look. So it's pretty neat. Um, this has like a chatoyance to it, almost like a, uh, I don't know how to describe it, a gemstone or something, and uh, this does too, almost uh, marbly. But anyway, this is my favorite, um, Kiranite, most definitely. This stuff is awesome. It's just really sweet looking. I actually like the matte finish on it too, um, so this stuff's really sweet. But anyway, I've been struggling to find quarter inch rod to go uh, in my knives, so I found this stuff, which is... Uh, quarter inch carbon fiber rod so on the end it's not going to have a pattern or anything uh, but I think it will look pretty sweet I'm of course going to order more rods some titanium rod if I can find it aluminum rod um, but if you want to have your handles pinned on I think maybe uh, this carbon fiber pin would look sweet with blue black scales maybe some of this kyranite I don't know but it's incredibly light and really strong uh, Got eyelets for Kydex sheaths, of course. Got some different fasteners. Uh, these are quarter inch chain ring bolts, and that's to put handle scales together. Um, and I got some silver button head screws to go with quarter inch pivots, um, and that's to put handle scales together. So depending on if you like black or satin screws, um, if you don't want to go with rod, you have the option of black or sat satin screws to to show off the handle material with. So uh, I think that's it for right now. Um, I have some black rivets. Thought I was ordering a pack of 100, but it ended up being a pack of 25. So this stuff is expensive. Knife making is not cheap whatsoever. Um, just this little bit of stuff, and I, I don't mind saying this because I mean it, it doesn't really matter. It's arbitrary. But just this little bit of stuff was 430 bucks, not including shipping. Um, and I did have two belts in there also. I got a Trizac belt and a Scotch Bright belt, but those were six and nine dollars, so not a whole lot. But um, knife making is definitely, definitely not cheap whatsoever. So uh, a lot of people don't understand where the prices come from. Most of it's material. Steel's expensive, heat treat's expensive, uh, handles are expensive. So anyway, I'm pumped. Seeing this stuff makes it a little bit more real for me. And uh, if you do have a knife on order with me, if you see anything you like in here, let me know. If you see nothing you like, let me know and tell me what you do like. Because I want the knife to be yours. I want you to get it and not want to change a single thing about it. That's my goal. I want it to be your perfect knife once you get it. So whatever you want me to use, I'll use it as long as you're willing to pay for it. <laughs> so anyway, thanks for watching, guys. Um, I'm sure I'll be making more orders like this coming up. But... Uh, Anyway, it's exciting. Uh, talk to you later. See you next time.